What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Falling in Reverse. Yes, indeed. Falling in Reverse fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Brian Savino, and this is actually Brian's prioritized request for the month of June for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Brian. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Brian wanted to see me react to this. It is falling in reverse with a tune called Watch the World Burn. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Now, have I heard this song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait, Wait, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Epitaph Records, okay? And the video has 68 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Falling in reverse, watch the world burn. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Bro. You in. Yeah, I got voices in my head again. Tread carefully, and I don't medicate it, helps me temporarily. I got problems, I got issues, yeah, apparently. Trauma that I'm burying, I think I need some therapy. I battle depression, I'm back with a message. I'm asking the question that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? I'm past a point and no return by being passive aggressive. I'll brandish a weapon, teach all you motherfuckers a lesson. Yeah. I actually battle my demons and challenges, and women the deep and the deep and the shallows are lost. Gotta admit that I'm living the life that I've always wanted, but it comes to the cause. Yeah. They're licking the jar, they're fixing to rip me apart. I'm swimming with stars, I'm lifting the bar, I'm lifting the end of the stars. I'm like I shot up a trailer, they mixed with some bread, and then started a battle, but bitch, I'm gonna finish it. Think you could stop me, not even a little bit. Nowadays, everybody's so sensitive. Picking my voice and you're picking it apart. Tripping on nothing, just getting the car. Ripping and ripping and sticking the mark. I'm tipping the ch 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 to get rid of me evil tendencies are fucking with me mentally i got people that don't like me in the industry i can feel your energy you were not a friend of me because i have been to places that you never want to go yeah i got dirt on people but they act like i don't know yeah i can do some damage but i'll never rock the boat all it takes is one post with yeah. some fun like john knows you'll never get rid of me too many enemies whip up my image from you to my history in it a mystery put every enemy out of the misery somebody send me some positive energy Stacking every little pretty penny that I'm getting and I'm never giving in to anybody Always winning, never kidding when I die, I'm taking everybody with me You're never gonna get me cause you never see a simple Yeah, my motherfucking God, you're a light yawn, I'm a time bomb And if I draw, I'm a swipe on, and I'm killing syllables with a literal fill of all I'm a lyrical, typical, super villain, I'm venomous And I'm never gonna stop until they put me on top of the list I can't control the monster any longer that's inside The pain and sorrow left us solo No tomorrow's hard to swallow Death is Quite the departure from where we've come <laughs> I, that, that was a swerve. That was, I didn't see it coming. I Reason being, he really committed to the hip-hop feel for, like, seriously, the last almost two minutes, right? We're at the two-minute mark exactly. And 
prior to that, I, I don't know exactly where it kicked into the rock. It was like 157, 156, maybe 155, somewhere in that. But everything prior, it was that hip hop feel, the hip hop experience, uh, the hip hop direction. And listen, don't get me wrong, okay? I absolutely appreciate everything that happened there. Uh, his meter was was immaculate. Um, his phrasing, spot on. Uh, his delivery, intense. I liked that. Uh, and it, it wasn't one-dimensional. Like it, it felt like his delivery kept getting a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster as we kept progressing, uh, fitting more and more uh, syllables into each, into each measure, uh, really pushing the meter hard. Uh, to fill out the phrasing. So I, I, I absolutely dug everything he did. But I was I had kind of resigned myself as a listener to, okay, this is how the whole song's going to go. Because we hadn't changed up. We, we, we Seriously, we, we didn't change direction at all. It just, we, we started out with the hip hop and we got to, like I said, we got to a minute and a half in, minute and 40 in. And I'm like, okay, all right. It's fine. And look, there's nothing wrong with it. If the song had continued that direction the whole way through, I would have been fine with it. I would have been perfectly fine with it. I would have been all right. I'd have been like, okay, I get it. You know, something a little different. It's cool. But now all of a sudden, we're kicking in with the full blown rock feel. I'm like, wow. I did not see it coming. That was nice. It was a nice, nice swerve. Very well done. Tip the cap. Absolutely. Got to tip the cap to Ronnie on that one. Really uh, threw me for a loop. Let's uh let's get back into that rock feel, shall we? <laughs> You're never gonna get me because you never see a simple get my motherfucking god. You're like John, I'm a tie bomb, I'm a five wrong, it's my god. I'm still a little bit of 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 a little
the sudden ending. Ah. <laughs> um. I, look, it works. Obviously, it does work. Uh, I would have. I personally would have loved to have heard just you know a simple just final chord on the downbeat of one. Just hit the chord, let it sustain, let it decay naturally. I I would have liked that, but I, I get it. The, the sudden ending like that, it, it just shocks you. So, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, man, <laughs> that was a, that was a ride. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was falling in reverse with watch the world burn. This was a request from Brian Savino. And this was actually Brian's prioritized request for the month of June for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Brian. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Wow. Wow, wow. What a ride. Don't wrap me up yet, buddy. Woo! 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 You'll hear me quite often with reactions. Uh, when, I, when I talk about songs, you'll hear me use the word predictable quite a bit. And I've always said there's nothing wrong with predictability. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, with predictability comes a certain level of comfort. It's why people watch the same movie, you know, over and over and over again, 20 times, and they will continue to watch it. Not just because it's a good movie, but because they get a certain level of comfort from knowing what's going to happen next. Um, same reason that people watch the same TV shows over and over and over again. Why? Because they know what's gonna happen. Everybody knows that Ross and, uh, oh God, what, I, I wasn't the biggest Friends fan. Everybody knows that David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston are gonna, you know, end up together. It, it, you know it, because you've seen the show. You've seen the episode like 20 times, and yet you're still gonna watch it. Why? Because you know what's gonna happen, and you go into it knowing what's going to happen. So when it does happen, it gives you that, for some, I mean, it, to some extent, it gives you a false sense of security or a false sense of accomplishment of, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, of course you knew it was gonna happen. You've seen it 20 times. So, you know, <laughs> when, like in The Godfather, when uh, when, uh, Jane, when when Jimmy Conn gets gunned down in the car, everybody knows it's gonna happen. Why? Because you've seen it 20 times. So when it does happen, you sit there and go, oh man, I knew that was gonna happen. No kidding. <laughs> You've seen it 20 times. So it, there's no surprise, there's no shock, there's no amazement, there's no, there's no, because you've seen it. And that's what gives you that sense of comfort. With this song, we had the exact opposite. <laughs> and I gotta say, it was it was nice to have it. it. It doesn't, it doesn't always happen here. Even with songs I've never heard before, it, you'll, you'll, you'll see a pattern that the band comes up with. They, they come up with a formula, they follow the formula. I'm gonna use KISS as a great example. They discovered a formula, it works for them. It worked for them for 40 plus years, you know, and they haven't, they never, they haven't released an album since like 2012 or something like that. So yeah, 40 plus years they, did, they, they followed this formula and it worked for them. It absolutely did. Am I criticizing it? No, not at all. It's predictable, and that's why a lot of people say every Kiss song sounds the same. Well, no, they don't, not really, but they do follow a formula. <laughs> you know, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, guitar solo, <laughs> chorus, once or twice to end the song out. Uh, you don't hear too many third verses in Kiss songs. There aren't too many. So, I mean, they, they have a formula. It worked for them. All in reverse, I don't really, I haven't really found a formula yet. I haven't found a, I've, I've listened to a few of their songs now and I haven't really found a formula per se. Um, I'll tell you what I mean more in, in just a second. I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start off with the score first. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.6. Yep, 8.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, in 8.6, what does that mean? Well, in 8.6 will translate to a great scale rating, so I think this is a great song. I would give it four out of five stars, it means the same thing. 
and I would give it an A letter grade, a solid A letter grade. So there you go, an 8.6, great skill rating, four to five stars, and an A letter grade. Now, how did I come up with the score? <laughs> so glad you asked. This song kept me on my toes. Uh, it really did. It, it took a while. Like, it, here's the thing. The song started out, I love that lull, that intro that they that he came up with for this, that that lulling intro, that kind of kind of foreboding intro. I, I dug that. I absolutely did. It gave you, it kind of lulled you into this feeling of dread almost. And then he, he started off with the hip hop and he stuck with the hip hop delivery. For like I said, about the first like minute and 45, minute and 50 seconds, he stuck with that hip hop delivery, really driving it home. Now, granted, within the delivery, though, it, it wasn't even stagnant. Like, it, it started out, you know, at a, at a great clip, at a great pace, and, you know, nice meter, nice phrasing, nice pacing, some really nice bars being dropped. And then it grew ever so subtly, ever so slightly in intensity over the course of that minute and 45, minute and 50. It just got a little faster, a little more intense, a little bit faster, a little more intense, and it grew and grew and grew. It was nice. It never felt like we were, it never felt like, here, here's what it came down to. It never felt like we were running in place. It never felt like we were on a treadmill. If we were on a treadmill, somebody was sitting there going, okay, you're running at about a 7.5 right now. Okay, that's good, 7.6. Now 7.7. Now 7.8. We had this constant growth. It wasn't sudden. It was very subtle and slow incremented, but it was really nicely done. It was very cleanly done. You almost didn't catch it. It was that smooth. Um and then we hit the apex where yeah, I just I I was like, wow, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see us switching gear from hip hop to rock. Didn't see it. It was nice. I dug it. I absolutely dug it. Not just because we switched to a metal or slash metal slash rock feel. That that it's not just because of that. It's the fact that we switched gears entirely altogether. We could have gone into anything other than hip hop, and it would have shocked me because we stayed the hip hop long enough to lull me into that sense of okay, this is where we're gonna stay. And I just kind of resigned myself to, okay, this is gonna be a hip hop song. Now here's the thing. If we had stayed with the hip hop feel all the way through the song, would, have I, would I have had a problem with that? No, I would not have had a problem with that at all. I, I wouldn't have scored it nearly as high as I did. We would have probably been down, I don't know, maybe somewhere in the mid to high sevens probably, but it, 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 it was being so well done, I didn't have an issue with it. But lulling us in like that, getting us just enough time to resign ourselves to, okay, this is gonna be a hip hop song, and then whack, just completely changed things on us. That was really cool. It was really well done. Um, and then within the rock feel, oh my God, switching around with feel between the halftime, the straight time feel, it was nice. When we did go into that halftime feel, oh man, did it get heavy with some great subdivision work underneath it. Uh, some great syncopated subdivision work. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Super clean, uh, super heavy, all together, very crisp. Um, and I, I dug that halftime feel, especially when we got heavy there. That was nice. Uh, ending off the song the way they did with that sudden ending. Uh, I, I, I get it. I absolutely get it. It makes perfect sense. And I'm not saying he should change it. I'm not saying they should make any changes to the song. Me personally, just from a personal standpoint, I would have loved to have heard them hit that last chord and just the the, the just that low chord, bam, on the downbeat of one and just let it resonate and just let it naturally decay. Not a linear fade, no, 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 no. I don't want a linear fade. Just let it naturally decay out. I would have, I would have really loved to have heard that. But the ending they had, just fine. No issue with it, no problem with it. It makes sense and it fits the context of the song. Um, as far as the music video goes, I, I've never been one, to, unless I'm specifically told to react to the music videos, music videos are a complete non-factor for me. 
uh it, it, it absolutely has no bearing on the score whatsoever unless i am specifically told to react to the music video the video itself uh music videos are nothing more than a promotional tool and i've i've never really been one for them i will say uh i thought the video was very well shot i think it was very well edited uh, I couldn't help but notice a lot of parallels happening within the video with like movies <laughs> pop culture I got a lot of the references and it was it was well thought out well organized well executed well edited and very well done overall It just has absolutely no bearing on the score whatsoever. Now this this 8.6 is strictly for the song absolutely dug the song um, I know it's cliche of reactors to say Oh, this is my new favorite song. And they say that on every single reaction video they do. Um, I don't think I've ever said that with any of my uh, Falling in Reverse songs that I've done reactions to. I don't think I've ever said, this is my new favorite. Well, I'm going to say it now. For the first time, I think this is my new favorite song from Falling in Reverse. Dug it. Absolutely dug everything about it. Um, and this is going on playlists. Absolutely. I, I, I'm going to put it on all, all three of my playlists. I'm not putting it on my... I, if I put this on as background music, I'm not going to get any work done. I'm going to be too busy headbanging and rocking out. I, I won't get any editing done. I won't answer. I won't be able to answer any comments. I won't be able to answer any emails. I'm going to be too busy grooving to it and rocking out. So no, it's not going on my work playlist. But uh, driving, yeah, but I got to be careful because I will speed with this. I guarantee you. I'll be... <laughs> I'll be driving to Vegas. I'll be on the 15 doing, it's supposed to be doing 70, right? I'm going to look down. I'm going to be doing like 105. I'm going to be like, oh man, I'm going to get in trouble. Worse though, is going to be driving around town when I'm supposed to be doing 30 or 35 or maybe 40 tops. I'm going to look down. I'm doing 60. I'm going to get in so much trouble with this if I'm driving around town. So I've got to be careful. But no, I, I'm still going to put it on my list. I don't care. If I get in trouble, I get in trouble. FBI, open up! No, I had a blast with this. I, I did. This was a fun, fun tune. A great listen. Great, well-structured, organized song. Uh, the chordal progressions all made sense. I mean, we, we didn't really move around key a whole lot, uh, but that's okay. It, it, it did the deed. So I got no issue with it. I got no problem with it. I think it's a great song, and that's why I'm giving it the great score of 8.6. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. So let's wrap everything up here in nice shiny bow, shall we? We got an 8.6 great scale rating four to five stars and an a letter grade take your pick i don't care whichever one of those floats your boat final word final score i have spoken well that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions reviews and rants hope you all enjoyed the show hope i was able to entertain you if i was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day i did my job and i'm so glad i could do it if you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.